This is one of the best views that you're going to get in all of Waukesha County on the top of the hill at Retzer. Hey everyone, it's a beautiful day here in Wisconsin in October and we're at one of our favorite places to bird in Waukesha County, Retzer Nature Center. Retzer Nature Center was originally purchased from the Federal Land Bank in 1938 by John and Florence Retzer. They immediately started restoring the land and in 1973 it was given to Waukesha County to be part of the local parks. Florence stated that her vision was to conserve the scenery, natural life and wildlife, leaving the land unimpaired for the enjoyment of future generations. In 1974, the Waukesha County Park System started developing the Nature Center, and in the 1980s, more land was acquired to expand the site. The center focuses on land management, education, restoration, and wildlife habitat improvement. Retzer Nature Center boasts a wide array of habitats on over 450 acres of land. From open fields to pine forests and seemingly everything in between, Retzer Nature Center is home to a variety of species that reside in different environments. This makes it a great place for birders to find many species in a relatively short amount of time. We go to Retzer frequently. As a result, we have a particular route we walk almost every time we're there. Starting from the Nature Center headquarters, we begin by following the blue trail through the field right next to the main building. We're here on the blue trail, so we're going to get started by walking this field and we're gonna look for different kinds of sparrows, uh, wrens, any kind of birds you might see in an open field, maybe get some goldfinches as well. And then we're gonna head down to the pond and see what kind of birds we might find near that open water. Although the blue trail is very close to the buildings, several species can be found just yards away, including eastern bluebirds and house wrens. Further out in the grassy fields, the calls of various sparrow species can also be heard. Two of the most numerous are the song sparrow and the field sparrow. Song sparrows and field sparrows migrate through Wisconsin and stay for the duration of the summer. Song sparrows are numerous in marshes and fields and sometimes even stay the winter. They can be identified by their gray color and striped breast. Field sparrows can be found in open areas and can be identified by their gray chest and rusty accents near the head along with a white eye ring. Both species are common spring, summer, and fall residents at Retzer. After a short time on the Blue Trail, we arrived at Retzer Pond. Retzer Pond was created in 1986 as a teaching pond and was also intended to filter out runoff pollution from agricultural fields. It was redredged in 2011 after excessive sediment had built up and many algal blooms occurred, creating a shallow, mostly uninhabitable pond. It is currently a habitat for many different species of animal, including brook stickleback, frogs, dragonflies, and more. So this is the Retzer Pond on the Blue Trail, and as you can see, there's a lot of plant matter on the top of it. It's a pretty shallow little pond, but it can hold a lot of wildlife. So every time we come down here, pretty much, unless it's the winter time, we'll see a couple green frogs at least hopping around, jumping in the water as we get closer. And then you can also find turtles here too, and then a whole host of birds that like to live along the water. So herons, ducks, during migration you get kingbirds, phoebes, things like that, all just using this tiny bit of water as a habitat for them. So this is a great place to check if you're looking for birds. One common bird seen around Retzer Pond is the American goldfinch. The American goldfinch is a small finch with a short bill and a notched tail. In spring, adult males become bright yellow with black on the forehead and black and white patches on the tail and wingtips. Females are duller yellow and olive in color in place of the bright yellow seen in males. Their entire diet is composed mostly of seeds and they breed later in the season than most other North American birds. This is because they use the fibrous seeds and thistles created by plants in June and July for nesting material and to feed to their offspring. They are commonly seen at thistle feeders and in open areas, especially ones with shrubs and their food plants, including thistles, asters, and sunflowers. We're just a short ways away from the pond on the Blue Trail. We have this field habitat on the left and this nice forested habitat on the right. This is great for migratory species such as scarlet tanagers, things you're going to see in the spring, warblers, but also it's great for species that are here year-round, such as the white-breasted nuthatches, various woodpecker species, the downies and the red bellies, 
as well as chickadees and a, just a ton of other species. After walking for a short time, we came across some migratory bird species in the trees above. So it looks like, as we were just talking about how some migratory species go through here, there's uh, some warblers up in the tops of the trees here that we're going to try and get a better look at. During the spring and fall, a variety of different warblers migrate through Retzer, including the yellow rumped warbler, palm warbler, and black pole warbler. Looking up in the treetops on the blue trail is a great way to find these birds. So we had a good stretch of birds on this uh, part of the trail with the edge habitat. We have some turkey vultures flying overhead and they'll be migrating soon. If they're not going down there already, had a couple warblers up in the trees and then there's some sparrows jumping around in here. Couldn't get a clear view of them, but this is a great place for field sparrows, white crowned sparrows during migration, white throated sparrows, fox sparrows too. So keep an eye out in this region for some more birds. After walking the entire blue trail, we took the red trail into the forest. As we made the turn onto the path, we heard the call of a familiar Retzer species. What do you see? So we came across a flock of cedar waxwings. Cedar waxwings are year-round residents of Wisconsin. They are colored with browns and tans, a black mask, a small amount of red on the wing feathers, and the end of a tail that appears to have been dipped in bright yellow paint. The name waxwing refers to the red color on the wing feathers that is actually a waxy secretion. They specialize in eating fruit and are often seen gathered together in trees. So you can identify these because you'll probably hear them before you'll see them. They make a high whistling sound and when all of them do it together you can really make out those individual whistles. So if you start to hear that around Retzer, you know that you probably encountered a flock of cedar waxwings. After taking some time to watch the waxwings, we left the blue trail behind and followed the red trail into the woods. Now we're going to go into the forest and we're going to go right over this cute little bridge over one of the ponds that has probably the most frogs in it, as well as a little stream coming off it too. On this part of the trail we encountered more warblers along with one species that can be found at Retzer year round, the American Robin. The American Robin can be identified by its large body, gray-brown back, and orange chest and stomach. It was designated as Wisconsin's state bird in 1949. It is often seen as a sign of spring, although in some areas, such as Wisconsin, it is a year-round resident. They feed mostly on earthworms and fruit, and since they often forage in lawns and can be affected by pesticides, they are sometimes used as an indicator of chemical pollution. As we continued on the red trail, we came to a fork in the path. As we went on through the woods, we have a choice to make. Do we go straight or do we go right? If you go straight, you're going to take the red trail, which is going to go over the river. And if you go right, you're going to stay in the woods for a longer period of time. And there's a chance that you can go look at an overlook, which has a really beautiful view. You're likely to see some turkeys, maybe even some deer in there. So we're going to go this way. After a short time on the green trail, we came to the purple trail. The purple trail goes past a small apple orchard and ends at a scenic overlook that gives a view of the valley below. It's a nice view. After spending some time at the Overlook, we continued on the Green Trail. The trail goes through both deciduous and coniferous woods before opening up to a field on Retzer Hill known as the Retzer Prairie. We just came out of this forest and we're going to hit the big field now. And so what you have here is we're going on the edge of a hill and then we'll go on to the top of the hill. So this, as we said before, this edge habitat is really great and there's a lot of different places where you can find great edge habitat at Retzer. This is one of our favorites. In the spring there's a lot of fly catchers here and in the field and on top of the hill there's a lot of birds that Retzer is really known for. Some really cool species. We're on top of the field at Retzer and as you can see the grasses are all really tall around here and this makes a perfect habitat for field birds especially during the spring and summer. Right now we still have some birds migrating through but during the prime time for bird migration you get clay colored sparrows up here and then one sparrow that Retzer is especially known for is the Henslow sparrow which are pretty skulky and they like to hang out in the grasses. Also, keep an eye out for bluebirds year-round because a couple of them usually stick around. Um, goldfinches also like to be up here as well as kingbirds. So this is a prime location to see a variety of different birds that like a couple different habitats. So if you're up here, definitely keep your eyes peeled. During the summer months, Retzer Hill is alive with the sounds of various bird species, including one that breeds at Retzer.
What's interesting is that you see that this field is extremely short right now. During the summer and spring, Retsha lets it grow probably two or three feet, maybe even four or five feet up in the air, and that provides nesting habitat for bobolinks. Bobolinks are related to blackbirds and orioles and are found in Wisconsin in the spring and summer. Breeding males are black and white with a buff-colored neck, while females and non-breeding males are light brown or buff-colored with dark brown and black striping on the back, except for the neck. They can easily be identified by call, which is a metallic buzzy noise that varies in pitch. They breed in large open areas with a mix of grasses and weedy plants. After breeding, they move to marshes and coastal regions before migrating. Even though the bobolinks had already flown south for the winter, we decided to stop and take in the beautiful view from the top of Retzer Hill before continuing on our way. We just came down from the hill, and so we're going to continue up back into the forested area. But if you want to check out the Brown Fen Planting Trail, there's a path that takes you right, and then it'll take you all the way down the Retzer Hill. And there's a lot of lower areas. The elevation is just a little bit lower, a lot of water down there, and a lot of other cool birds you can see. We continued through the fields on the green trail. We followed it through another transitional habitat where open grassland meets pine forest. Here, migrants including chipping sparrows and pine warblers can sometimes be found. Walking through the conifers, we briefly intersected the orange trail before making our way back to the main building, marking the end of our hike. All in all, thanks to the dedication of John and Florence Retzer and the Waukesha County Park System, Retzer Nature Center is a great place to explore and look for wildlife. The variety of habitat provides a home for many different plant and animal species that attract many visitors. If you're in the neighborhood, make sure to stop by. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Badgerland Birding. Thank <music> you.